Hello everybody, Southbuck Nappy here. I'm trying to play some NBA. Oh, never mind. Okay then. <laughs> I was gonna show you that it keeps freezing up on me, but I guess it came on. Anderson, Babcock in a two guard, he's out there with Anderson, and it's Patterson in at the four man position, that's the group on the floor for the elites, here's Anderson, misses in close, so no problem for the Stars as they get the win. Well, and you have to be excited for the upcoming draft after a game like that. A lot of talent on display in that game as the Stars get the win. And there might be some winners and losers here as far as draft stock goes. Um, you never know what the scouts saw, but in my eyes, a few players showed they've got game. Well, that will do it for us here. Hope you enjoyed your glimpse into what the next NBA class has to offer. On behalf of Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for joining us. I suck. <laughs>
You know what? Sure, I'll help out Charlotte Bobcats. Well, I can provide an honest player who's going to give 110% every night. I'm a player that the team and community can get behind. I make plays, I don't make noise off the court, and I enjoy facilitating the play rather than making it. Not too many people can look you in the eye and tell you that last one. Look, above all, I want to win and I'll do whatever it takes to make that happen. Okay, last question. As a younger team, I feel like we have a lot of opportunities for you. I'm here to tell you that you have a chance to be our franchise centerpiece if you put in the work. How many other teams can offer you that? That being said, we still have a couple of years ahead of us where we're going to be acquiring young talent and assets. We might struggle a bit in those years. Are you going to be able to remain focused during the rebuilding years? Yeah, but with a caveat. If the direction of the team keeps changing towards becoming a contending team, I'll be happy being a part of the rebuilding process. If I start to feel like decisions are being made because of money instead of talent, chances are I'm going to start becoming unhappy. Great. I'll wait till the phone stops ringing here. I think it stopped. Thanks so much for your time. I don't want to get ahead of myself here, but we would be ecstatic if you're still on board when it's our turn to pick. Portland Trailblazers. Good game tonight. GM of the Trailblazers here. We're strongly considering drafting you with the 21st pick in the upcoming draft. But we'd first like to ask you a couple of questions about how you'd fit in here before we take that step. First question. This question is a tough one to ask, as this really isn't a right or wrong answer. Over the last couple of years, we've had entire seasons washed out by insurmountable injuries. As a franchise, we're becoming more conscious on injury histories and what that means for our draft picks. What can you tell us about your injury history and, more importantly, your ability to play through pain? I've been pretty healthy my whole life. I've suffered some twists, some sprains, you know, typical kid stuff. The important thing is that I never let it bring me down or hold me back. It's never stopped me from going out and doing what I've wanted to do. All right then, one more. If you were a GM, where would you draft yourself in this draft? Um... Let's go with the top three. Easy. I draft myself top three without giving it a second thought. <laughs> I may not look like it right now, but I guarantee you people will look back on this draft and ask themselves, what were all those teams thinking when they passed on this guy? Guaranteed, baby. <laughs> okay, I think we were able to get a good read into what you're all about. We'll be in touch. So I can be um, either one of those teams can get me. Put in a positive attitude towards all three of them. I have a feeling I'm going to Charlotte, though. That's my strengths. Impressed a lot of teams during pre-draft interview. Offensively, he's always looking for the open space. Finishes strong on the break and runs the floor effectively. High basketball IQ, high awareness of what's going on around him. Weaknesses. On-ball defensive ability is just average. Being able to create with the ball in his hands is not one of his strengths. Vision, passing ability are below average for a wing player. At times, tries to force the issue offensively instead of taking what the defense gives him. Okay. Good evening and welcome to the 2011 NBA Draft. Tonight we celebrate a new class of basketball talent that has made its way to the NBA. Their dedication and hard work and that of their families has paid off and this moment is the next step in their promising young careers. It is also a time of extraordinary optimism and hope for the fans of our teams as they look for yet additional great players to make their teams better. The selections that are made tonight will be viewed by millions of NBA fans around the world in more than 200 countries as they make their way to become NBA players.
Everyone is ready, so let's get started. With the first pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select Doug Martin from the University of Michigan. With the second pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Minnesota Timberwolves select Cliff Davis from the Ohio State University. With the third pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Utah Jazz select Derek Gibson from the University of Tennessee. With the fourth pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select Larry Douglas from the University of Florida. With the fifth pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Toronto Raptors select Nick Brown from Boston College. With the sixth pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Washington Wizards select Brad Mason from DePaul University. With the seventh pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Sacramento Kings select Raymond Rice from the University of Illinois. With the eighth pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Detroit Pistons select Aaron Dixon from the University of Kansas. With the ninth pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Charlotte Bobcats select Eric Anderson from Louisiana State University. With the 10th pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Milwaukee Bucks select Sam Park from the University of Minnesota. With the 11th pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Golden State Warriors select George Turner from the University of Oklahoma. With the 12th pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Utah Jazz select Ricky Reed from Purdue University. With the 13th pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Phoenix Suns select Dennis Jones from Stanford University. With the 14th pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Houston Rockets select Sean Richardson from Tulane University. With the 15th pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Indiana Pacers select Lee McDaniel from the University of Oregon. With the 16th pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Philadelphia 76ers select Arthur Williams from the University of Nebraska. With the 17th pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the New York Knicks select Chuck Daniels from the University of Notre Dame. With the 18th pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Washington Wizards select Jay Walters from Duke University. With the 19th pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Charlotte Bobcats select the 21-year-old small forward from Penn State University. Kind of figured that was going to happen. Okay. It's the draft contract negotiations now. One point twenty two. Eight hours on the office of a ranching two and a half meals. Forty five minutes 
I can't begin to tell you how excited we are that you are a part of this team. We've started a new ad campaign on the billboards around town completely centered around your arrival. Let me know what you think. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. 